Hi, my name is Tina Dilly, and welcome to Art on Bear Mountain. And today I'm going to paint some bear portraits, hoping to submit one of these if it turns out good to the community here. They're looking for a new logo. So, um, so I already went ahead and um, sketched out all the designs, and it's going to be with watercolors. And what I paint on normally when I do find art, if I'm not painting on wood or walls, murals, I use this stuff. It's synthetic watercolor paper. It's if you have never used it, it's it's plastic. And I like using it because the watercolors just float on top and they do some amazing blending, which is what I like. But just real quick, this is a little bit more of a serious bear. I like this bear too. We'll see how this one comes out. I like this one. I did one similar to this. I used the image or I donated the image to the pickleball club so we have that on our pickleball shirts which is really fun. So I'm hoping to kind of do something like this. And then this one's just a cutesy bear. I don't think I'm going to like this one but I went ahead and just sketched it out seeing maybe it, it might pop. Who knows. Just going to start with the first layer today. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. It's it's getting late in the afternoon and I don't paint by artificial light. I, I always paint by my my skylights, my all my windows and everything. So it's getting a little bit later and the shadows are starting to come in, but I'm gonna let these dry. Let's see what happens in the morning. Hopefully I'll have some nice, unusual color formations. It's just the first layer. I might have to add a little more color to this guy though. I might even have to wash this guy off. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's going to be all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to let it dry, take a look at it tomorrow, and start working on the detail. And it might take maybe a couple of days. So we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Bye! So welcome back. The pieces are dry. Just want to show you how they look after they dry and once they've done their little fun mingling. And I, there's a few pieces here that I think I definitely will like to develop a little bit more and others I might just put on the um, back burner for another day. I don't think it'll work for what I need. So here we go. I think I'm going to work on this one. I do like the colors. You can see the uh, salt did its fun stuff. Here's the teddy bear, and I actually am really surprised about how this one dried. The colors, the dark colors, the salt did some neat stuff. You can see all the salt right here. Um, now this one I really like, but for what I want it for, don't know if it's going to work. It has a little bit too much of a angry or menacing look to it, which, you know, I don't think that's quite a welcoming logo for a community. And this is the other one. This one's darker, but it's kind of cool too. You can see the salt. So I'm gonna set the camera up and put a little detail into the eyes. 
and see what, uh, what, what I get and go from there. Okay, I've got the eyes laid in, the first coat. I'm still gonna go and tweak them. I'm trying so hard not to paint these um, with an, kind of an angry attitude or a, you know, more of a softer, sweeter expression. This one has it, but it doesn't quite look like a bear. It looks more like a dog. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit more. The teddy bear has a sweeter look. I'm happy with all the eyes. I just have to tweak the body part of it a little bit. And of course this one, I, I haven't done that much work because this one's full of attitude. It's like, woo, I'm gonna get you. And this is the one I'm gonna enjoy painting the most, actually. Okay, it's been a few days and I've been working off and on a couple hours on each of these, just tweaking them. So, just do a quick review of what we've got kind of grayish bear, a teddy bear, mean looking grumpy bear, and kind of a nicer looking brown bear. These I'm just gonna go ahead and store for a while and take them out if I need them for something else. But I don't think these are gonna be appropriate for what I need for the logo. I mean, I was thinking maybe this one, but I kind of think it's too cutesy. I mean, I don't think I want this as my logo. So this is the one. This is the guy. He just has a nice bear look to him. We'll see how he photographs with the uh, good camera. And go from there. Okay guys, I brought you on this journey, me trying to create a logo for our little community here. And I worked on a couple of bears. One was cutesy, one was kind of mean looking, one was more serious looking, and I almost submitted that last one. I, I really did like it, but then I was driving into our driveway and I looked over to the side and I have this waving bear. And I go, well, why, why am I not painting this image? I painted that same waving bear on a utility box in Tehachapi, and it came out a little bit more serious, menacing, um, and more like a stop, it had like a stop sign, but it was on a busy street, so I was okay with that. But the one here on my driveway, it was, this is a friendly bear. So I went ahead and did that, and it, I put down the first layer, and actually I almost completed the whole project less than a day. I did do a little bit of the filming of the process, and it went so quick that uh, I wasn't even really thinking I was going to use it. But it turned out really good. I mean, I liked it. Um, I'm gonna submit that one. It's friendly, it's, it's, it's not too macho, it's not too cutesy, it's just, it's, just, it's just the right amount of friendliness that I think would work for this um, logo. So I'm gonna submit that. I'm not expecting to get chosen because they, they did a little tiny unofficial survey on if, if the community wants to change the logo. And a lot of people said no, they, they like this little, logo that they've had since the 70s. It's, it's a bear um, smelling of flower and they kind of like it. So they might not even want to change that one and that's okay. I'm okay with that. If I'm always looking on the bright side of things and if they don't pick mine or if they don't pick anything, I'm gonna use that bear for my logo. I like it. Sorry about taking you on that journey. Um, that's kind of the process a lot of times. You're you're working on something and then you, you just something hits you and you go, well, let's try this. And since I've already been painting those bears, I was already kind of geared to do another bear and it just went quick. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or if you, I do a lot of time lapse on my process. If you'd rather have me just, you know, slow it down and you can see everything, but it would take so long. I'm just trying to edit it out a little bit where you can just see it 
um, but it's not taking you hours and hours. I know me personally, when I watch a video, if it's 45 minutes, I'm like, oh, please be done. So, and this one might be a little bit on the long side. But anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!